Hey everybody, this is Jim, the Tabletop Engineer, and welcome to a new video. This is not a playthrough video. Instead, I want to show you how to do something on a tablet that can help you with your 2D6 Realm game. I posted a picture earlier today on Facebook, and I've already had a few uh, people email me and, and message me through Facebook asking how I did it. So, you know what? I'll show you. <laughs> it's easier, I think it's easier with a video uh, to show you what I'm talking about. All right, so if you don't play 2D6, this video is not going to be of any use to you. But if you do play 2D6 Realm, uh, stay tuned and, and let me show you how to do something really interesting. All right, in this game, if you go to the back of the book, there are some pages that contain the maps right here. These two. You, you use these to draw the maps of your realm as you explore, and then you use these symbols to represent the type of land or what's on the land. There's two types. There's what's called simplified, which is on page 19, and if you flip the page, there's uh, more advanced versions of them, better artwork in my opinion, on page 20. I have been using page 19 because I'm not an artist. I don't draw well and these are about the best I can do, but I really like the look of these. So here in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to make your map using a digital app and using these really nice, this really nice artwork that is in the book. All right, so first caveat is I'm using an iPad. Um, if you're using an Android, you'll be happy to know that the app I'm using, which is called GoodNotes, is available for Android. At least the last time I checked, it was available. Um, so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need a PDF copy of 2D6 Realm. I have that on my iPad. You're also going to need the Good Notes app. Um, it, there are other apps out there that probably do what I'm about to show you. Um, they, their toolbar is probably different, but they may give you this functionality. I'm not aware of them, so if you do use one that you can do what I'm about to show you, please put it in the comments so other users will know. All right, so here we go. In GoodNotes, the first thing we need to do is you need to understand GoodNotes uses a series of notebooks. So these are all the notebooks for the games I play. I'm going to do this in my notes notebook, which is where I take notes randomly. And I have a blank page. Now, you can do this different ways. You could take a photo of this of this map page here. You could scan it or you can get the PDF version of it and take a screenshot of it. Within notes, you can embed pictures. You, you tap this picture icon and you choose it and it drops it. And then you can resize it, okay, and, and rotate it however you want. And there it is, all right? Um, how did I get this? All right, let me show you. So within Within uh, my PDF on iPad, on, on page, uh, it doesn't have page numbers. Let me just go over to the very back. Okay, here it is. This is the PDF thing. I press the volume and the, the volume button and the power button at the same time, and it takes a screenshot, which appears down here. I tap it, and then I can crop it by dragging these, these uh draggers, or I'm not sure what the word is, I just drag them to cut off that black border, and then in a minute it just, it refreshes, and there is the image. I click done, and one of the options is save to photos. I'm going to do that. Now on the Android, I don't know what it's called, but on iPad, where you collect your screenshots and your photos is called photos. So this image is in there. Next, I want to go back to GoodNotes. Now the problem with embedding a photo or a screenshot of it is when you're trying to write on it, you can do that. But sometimes you might accidentally tap, well, you can see I'm writing on it, but with the other tools, like the select, for example, the select might accidentally, anytime you want to, if you, let's say you, you draw a little picture here and you want to select it, you can do that and move it around. But notice how it grabbed my page, the, the graph too. That's not what you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this page and I'm going to start fresh with a new page. Here's my new page. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap this plus and it says add a page. 
and you can do before, after, or make it the last page. I'm gonna choose after, which will put it after the current page I'm looking at. And instead of pasting an image, I'm gonna choose image from my photo gallery. I'm going to choose the one I just took. It embeds it, and now it is not a photo that can be moved around. It is actually the page that I'm working on. So I can write on it, I can draw on it, I can, I can highlight it, I can do all kinds of stuff, but it won't, the page is permanent. So once you have this page added to your notebook, you can make as many copies of it as you want. If you drag to the right, it adds a new page automatically that's a duplicate of the previous one. All right, so that way you can keep, if you make just a notebook for your maps, you can just keep adding pages as you keep flipping. Um, once you have the page done, it's time to start adding the icons. Now, when you start this game, let's go back to the icons. Now, I, remember, I'm going to be using the advanced ones, which are on page 20. Everybody starts with a, uh, what's called a, um, uh, what do you call it, a home, homestead. Is that what it is? The homestead. And the way you get that image into your, into your book is you do exactly what I just did. You go back to your PDF, and it was on page 20. All right, here's the homestead right down here in the lower right corner. I take a screenshot, I edit it by tapping it, and I take the bars and I just want to crop everything down to just that image. When you let your finger off, it comes up and it'll show you the bigger image and then you can fine tune it. If you've cut off something, you can drag these, these uh, bars and do, do more editing. But this is the homestead, that's what I want. I click done, save to photos, and now I have that little icon in my photo album that I can use anytime I want. Any of these other land types, you do the exact same thing. Take a screenshot, crop it down to the image, save it to photos. Now I have about five or six of these already saved because I've been making my own map. So let's go back to the map and let me show you how you, um, how you add it. So you go into GoodNotes and I wanna place an image. I wanna place my homestead right here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add images. I tap the, fo the photo button here and I tap where I wanna place it. It calls up my photo album and I can scroll with this, but there it is the homestead. Now notice it's large, it's quite big, it's not going to fit on one of these little plots. You, you tap and hold here, actually that made a copy of it, I don't want that. You tap it and you drag to resize as you want. You can also rotate, that's going to come in handy in just a second. So rotate it and drag it to the size you want and then when you tap it you can move it around and position it right where you want it. After you tap outside of it, it has added my homestead. Now let's say that I explored this right here and I found an area of say three fields. All right, I have, the reason I chose fields is I already have that image selected. I'll go ahead and tap to add another image. Here is the fields icon. Now notice it's big. Shrink it down, drag it where I want it, and tap to save it. Now, I need to make two more of these because let's say I found up three plots of fields. So what you do now is instead of using to it, instead of adding it again, just copy the one you just did. You do it by tapping it, tap it and hold, uh, tap again, choose copy, and then wherever you want, tap and hold and do paste and it puts an exact copy. This time I'm going to rotate. And the reason I do that is it'll make them look all a little different. I'm going to tap here and choose paste, and I'm gonna rotate this one this way, and maybe resize it a little bit. So once I tap off, I, come on. When this thing gets, why is it not, I don't, there we go. All right, now I have three fields. All right, let's keep going. Now in the book, it tells you to, that you're supposed to, when you, when you uh, explore an area, you write a number, and that number is the order in which you discover these areas. So let's say I found these fields first. Your homeland is, your homestead is automatically there. So the field needs to be a one, and every type of land has a two-letter tag, and field is FI. So you're supposed to add 
uh, you're supposed to add one FI in a box in the upper right corner. Now I just did it with the pen. And notice you can zoom in and out to, to, to get the, the detail and then zoom back out. You can do that with a pen. The other thing you could do is you could add a shape by tapping this shape thing. In good notes, if you draw a shape but you don't lift the pencil and you just hold it for like a split second or one extra second, it will draw a perfect version. So I want to draw a rectangle. It's not perfect. I finish it, I hold it, and then notice it, it changed it to a nice, perfect uh, rectangle. Next, I want to use the selection tool and move it right, let's just move it, let's move it to a blank one right here. Now notice it's too big. I tap it, oh, I, I'm sorry, I tap the uh, image to add, a, add another square. I tap an existing item, and now I can drag these blue bars to make it how big I want. Um, I don't know what this gray thing is. I think it's because I shaded it, but ignore that. So now I have this little box, and I can zoom in, and I could write in 1FA or whatever. I could use the text tool, which is right here. You tap where you want to type text. You, you type it in. It's 1FI, not FA. It's 1FI or 2FI, whatever you want. And then you drag it with this little bar thing right in there, and there you go. It's 2FI. Um, let me get rid of that just because I don't want to use it anymore. Come on, my pencil, I think my pencil battery is dying. I think that's why it's acting up. All right, I'm going to get rid of all this and I'm going to get rid of this. The selection tool is real good. If you select something by drawing a circle around it, tap it and choose delete, it gets rid of it. So that's two different ways you can add the labeling. Let's say you encountered an ogre here and you left it, you fled. You can write in ogre and it'll stay there until you erase it. Um, you could use the text tool if you want it to be prettier or cleaner. The last thing I want to show you is, as it is, it looks good. It's using the art from the book and it's very nice and clean. But what you might want to do is an extra step, which is add a little color. To do that, you tap this highlight tool and you pick your color over here, and this is a scrollable window. And there's colors, but if you don't see the color you want, let's say Homestead, I want to do a light purple. I could, tap, I could tap that light pink, and I just scribble over it. And when I let up the pen, uh, it highlights it. And it makes the, the original, the black ink for the, um, for the Homestead, it makes it darker so it doesn't look faded. When you're, when you're drawing over it, it fades the image a little bit, but then it comes back up very vivid. Now let's say I want to do the fields a unique color. What I do is I tap and hold any color for more than a second. It pops up this, this. tap this plus, and you can pick a custom color. And if you don't see what you want in this grid, tap here to get a color wheel. If you don't know how to use a color wheel, just Google it. it. There's plenty of tutorials out there, but you just you can move it around and find the find the one you want. I want a purple, so now I can find different shades of it. Or maybe I want yellow and different shades, so I'm going to go light. And whenever you select a color, you say Add to Presets, go back, and it's automatically selected. And now I can color. Oops. Now I can color. It should have stayed. I don't know why it didn't. I did something. Now I can color it in. And you want to, you probably want to color in the same terrain type, just so you're visually it starts looking. You know, you can you can decide discern what's different. After this starts filling out, you end up with something like this. Let me go back to my map. Two D six. Here's mine. Okay, so my homestead is like a, a gray, a yellowish. Uh, the the rocky is gray. Fields are green. Marshlands blue, and hills are a tan. And I've added some text in here to remind me what it is. You can see the numbers are inside a, uh, a box. And it's looking exactly like it should look if you are drawing a map, which is shown on page, eh, where is that? They have an example map in here somewhere. I thought they did. There is one, there's a bunch of examples, but you get the idea. Uh, that's how you add your, well, all the instructions and stuff show you how to do that. 
Okay, if you have any questions, post them in the comments below. I'll do my best to ask or answer them. If you uh, know of a different app other than GoodNotes that can do something like this, please add it to the comments so other readers or viewers can, can have options. Um, GoodNotes is my, like I said, it's, it, I use it, I like it. It has just the right number of tools I want. Uh, it has the text, keyboard, add photos, selection tool, drawing certain shapes. If you want to draw a star, uh, hold on, let me, let me do it. Let me show you. You want to draw a star. It's not perfect. Just hold it. And well, there is a way to do it. And that's not how you do it. Um, an undo is simply two, two double taps with your fingers and you undo and you have your map. All right, there you go. That is how you use GoodNotes to create a 2D6 Realm map digitally. You can print it too. You can, uh, that document can be exported as a PDF or an image so that you can print it if you like. All right, that's all I got. This is Jim the Tabletop Engineer. Thanks for joining me on this how-to video. I'll be back very soon with the next video. Until then, everybody, take care. Check out the new RPG and Wargame newsletter. Each week, the Tabletop Engineer shares news, products, Kickstarters, and much more related to the gaming hobby. It's free to subscribe, so check out the link in the video description below to sign up.